ko yun eh. Hindi mo siya nabibigyan. Baka 5 minutes na yun mamaya. <laughs> o, oh, sige na. Ikat na lang natin. Okay. Ikat natin. Ikat na lang natin. Wala naman kasi. Oh. Baka 1 minute na yun mag Oh, O, tiga mo nga. Sige na. Okay. Good day again mga anak. Okay, welcome to lesson 2. It's all about recognizing patterns in nature and configurations in the world. Ma'am, alam mo, di ba? Lesson 1, wala pang masyadong, ay wala pang talagang computation. Then lesson 2, meron na ba? Wala pa. Meron, meron na. na. Meron pero na. hindi pa masyadong complicated. Oo, oh, oh, basic pa lang, pang kinder, gano'n. Pang kinder, oh, pang kinder. And I hope, nakikinig kayong lahat at okay tayong lahat. Let's start! Okay, we have two or three objectives. Determine different mathematics patterns of nature. Identify the Fibonacci numbers in nature and art. And well, generate the Fibonacci sequence and create a spiral. Pagalawin mo naman yan. Ayo nga pala. Oh, yun, generate the Fibonacci <laughs> sequence and create a spiral. Okay. Let's always remember, ma'am, that patterns in nature are visible regularities of form found in the natural world. Okay. Uh, our world uh, composed of patterns. It is composed of patterns. Mapa, um, anything under the sun. Yes, it's composed anything of patterns. Under, anything under the sun. It is composed These patterns of patterns. recur in different contexts and can sometimes be modeled mathematically. Natural patterns include symmetries, trees, spirals, waves, foams, tessellations, cracks, and stripes. Mathematics, physics, and chemistry can explain patterns in nature in different levels. Understanding the visible patterns of nature can help improve your creativity and design skills in arts, fashion, and the way you solve problems in real life. Looking at nature patterns will make you appreciate the beauty of, of natural, natural things, things around, around you. you. Okay, so we have math, math patterns, patterns in, in nature. nature. I think we have three. Okay, yes. we have three math patterns in nature. Ayaw Let's na. start with... Wow, ang ganda naman yan. Okay. When you look at the picture, ma'am, ano yung unang naka-attract sa yung una? Yung totoo, ha? Yung color. <laughs> Other than color. Aside from color. Yung pattern. Yes, the pattern itself. Yes. Okay. Okay, that pa pattern is actually what we call as fractal. Okay. Fractal is a detailed pattern that looks similar at any scale and repeats itself over time. It shows simple shapes multiplying over time yet maintaining the same pattern. Oh, if you man. take a look on the pattern, on the picture, ma'am, it maintains the shape yes. and the same pattern. Uh, uh, simple shapes multiplying over, over time. time. Parang yan, <laughs> pinakamaliit hanggang sa pinakamalaki. Though magkakaibang size, pare-pareha sila ng pattern okay. or ng shape. Fractals in nature are snowflakes, trees, branching, lightning, and ferns. Okay, so this one is an example of fractal. fractal. Flower yan, di ba? Okay, next we have... Anong tawag dito? We have spiral. Kung titignan mo, yung shape niya, spiral na agad yan. So, it is a curved pattern that focus on a center point and a series of circular shape that revolves around it. Take a look at the center. C center and then circular shapes that revolved around, around it. it. Okay. okay. Spiral. Spirals in nature are pine cones, some, some shells, shells pineapples, pineapple, and, and hurricanes. And we Parang also shell have, ata to. Yes, shell okay. yan. Last, we have... Bubuyog. Bubuyog. Ay, ano yan basahin kanina oro, oro, nung ginugol natin? Voronoi. 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 <laughs> that is Voronoi. A pattern provides <laughs> clues to nature tendency to favor efficiency, the nearest neighbor, shortest path, and tightest feet. Voronoi patterns in nature are skin of giraffe, corn on the cob, honeycombs, foam bubbles, a head of a garlic. Parang siya ano ng... Ano? Ano to? Bahay ng bubuyog. Bahay ng bubuyog. Okay. okay. So, that is an example of Voronoi. Voronoi. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, when we say Fibonacci sequence, it is a sequence of numbers in which 
each successive number in the sequence is obtained by adding the two previous numbers in the sequence. The sequence is named after the Italian mathematician Fibonacci. The sequence starts with 0 and 1 and proceeds forth as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. The Fibonacci sequence is widely used and applications pertaining to mathematics, science, computers, art, and nature. Ma'am Tintin, kung mag add ako ng definition na yan, okay, uh, when you add the preceding number, okay, of the two preceding number, yun ang magiging next result. Uh, and that's all about... Pag preceding yung dalawang magkasunod na number. Yes, Parang uh, ito, 1 and 1. 0, 1, 0, one, zero plus 1 is 1. 1 and 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So 2 plus 3 is equal so to 5. So, four, I so on and so forth. And that is what we called a Fibonacci sequence. At dito na po tayo mag-uumpisa <laughs> sa ating tinatawag na mundo solving. ng solving. Let's have... Oh, Ay, tayo gagalaw siya. O, para po daw ano. Let's have our formula. Yan na naman tayo eh. Formula eh. Okay? The formula of a Fibonacci sequence is x sub n is equal to x sub n minus 1 plus x sub n minus 2. Where x sub n is the n term, x sub n minus 1 is the previous term, x sub n minus 2 is the term before that. At para bong ganin yung maintindihan yan, let's have our examples. Okay. Okay, in continuation with our Fibonacci sequence, and before we move on on our examples, okay, let's have first uh, the definition of Fibonacci sequence. Sabi niya sa Fibonacci sequence, it can be formed by the sum of two preceding numbers, and it always starts at 0, 1. Okay, 0, 1 daw siya mag start 0, 1. At sabi niya, can be formed by the sum of two preceding numbers. When we say two preceding numbers, ibig sabihin dalawang Mag number na magkasunod. Sum plus. So, ibig sabihin, 0 plus 1 is equal to? 1. 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to? 2. 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to? 3. three. Very easy. Let's have 2 plus 3 is? 5. five. 3 plus 5 is? 8. eight. 5 plus 8 is? 13. 13. 8. Plus 13 is 21. 21. 13 plus 21 is equal to? 34. 34. 34 plus 21 is equal to? 55. 50. Five. Five. Next. 55 plus 34 is equal to? 89. 89. Isa pa. 89 plus 55 is equal to? Calculator muna. <laughs> 140. Four. So forth and so, so on. Okay. This is what we called as our Fibonacci sequence. If we want to know the number of terms, okay, ito yon n number of terms and number of terms is always starts with zero also. Bilangin this is zero. Lang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So if we want to know the six term, six term of Fibonacci sequence, Fibonacci sequence, it follows that the answer is what? Bilangin mo lang. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the answer is eight. eight. Maliwanag po ba, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. And let's have our first example. Let's find the twelve term of the Fibonacci sequence. Again, let's find the 12th term of the Fibonacci. Kanina mga anak, meron tayong example na ganito. At nakaabot po tayo sa 12th term and until 12th term we have 144. 144. So we are expecting that the answer of this is 144. 144. Papatunayan ko mga anak na tama ang 144 using our formula. formula. And our formula is x Sub n, sub n is equal, is to, equal to x sub n minus 1 plus x sub n minus 2. Isn't it? Yes. x, our n or number of terms is 12. 12. Is equal to x 12 minus 1 plus x n minus 2. Isn't it, Mampintin? Yes. Is equal to x sub 11 plus x sub 
12 this is 12 right 10 this is 10 10 okay let's substitute x sub 11 our x, x sub 11 is equal to 89 89 89 plus x sub 10 is equal to 55 55 using our calculator we have 89 plus 55 is equal to 144. Ibig sabihin nun mga anak, tama ang ating formula. 144, using our formula, we also have 144. Easy. Very easy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, pang grade 1. Let's have example number 2. Find the 23rd term of the Fibonacci sequence. Pang grade okay? 6 na yan. Pang grade 6 na yan. So, kanina na rin na tayong... 12, so tinuloy ko po, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Ang hinahanap po natin is number 23. Right? So we have our formula. We have x, x sub, sub n, n is equal to x sub n minus 1 plus x sub n minus 2. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So our x, our n is 23 because we're looking for the 23rd term is equal to x, our n is 23, minus 1, plus x, our n is 23, minus 2. Let's have now x, 23 minus 1 is 22, plus x, 23 minus 2 is 21. By substitution, alam natin na x, or sub 22, or the 22nd term is 17,711. Plus, x sub 21 is 10,946. Okay, let's add using our calculator. Our 23rd term is 17,711 plus 10,946. The correct answer is... 28,657. 28, so, ito po ang ating 23rd term. Maliwanag, Mamtin? Super liwanag. Ito na. Okay? Mamtin, kung pang grade 6 yun, pang ito college po, na yun. pang second year high school. <laughs> okay, second year high school. Given that F 34. of 34 is equal to 5 million 702,887 and F35 is equal to 9 million 227,465 let's find F33 or the 33rd term of the Fibonacci okay alam natin mga anak okay the concept of Fibonacci sequence alam natin that x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is always equal to x sub 3. Yes. Or pwede rin naman, the first term in the Fibonacci plus the second term in the Fibonacci is always equal to the third term of the Fibonacci. Tama ko, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. That's why, looking for this pattern, alam natin na ang n is 1, this is 1. Isn't it? Mm -mm. The second term is again 1, this is 1. That's why, if you will add 1 and 1, the third term should be 2. And it makes sense. Tama? Yes. If this is the case, okay, in this particular problem, we have F34, 35, and 33. It follows that if you will add Fibonacci 33 plus Fibonacci 34, the, resor the result is always Fibonacci 35. 35. But our problem is, we are looking for Fibonacci 33. 33. Okay, we can obtain that mga anak using substitution method. Alam natin that F33 is the missing one. Ito so, ang nawawala. Let's set this as our X. X. Kasi nawawala. Hindi natin, Hindi natin alam. alam. X. Then plus F34 is equal, sinabi na dito ng F34 is 5 million. 702,000 702,887 887 equals then Fibonacci 35 or F35 sabi po niya sa problem it is equal to 9,227,465 okay then nakakasunod po yes now okay since we're just looking for the value of x iiwan po natin si x 
dito sa left side of the equation. Isn't it? Yes. And let's copy. Equals, let's copy 9,227,465. And since this figure, okay, ay hindi naman importante sa left side, let's transpose it into the other side para makasama niya ang number. Isn't it? Yes. And by transposing this one, from positive, it will become negative. negative. Okay? Let's go back to our lesson in algebra. integers yes. or algebra. When you're transposing a number, it always change the sign. From positive to negative and from negative to positive. positive. That's why ang positive 5,702,887, dumaan po siya sa equal, then nilipat natin, naging negative na siya. Negative 5 million 702,887. Meron na po tayo ngayong equation. Okay? X now is equal to 9,227,465 minus 5,702,887. And using our calculator, 9,227,465 minus 5,702,887 is equal to x33 is equal to 3 million 524,578 so our fibonacci 33 or the 33rd term in the fibonacci sequence is 3 million 524,578 and that's all for this week mga anak that is all about fibonacci sequence maraming maraming salamat sa pakikinig enjoy the rest of the day Mag-quiz po tayo at open notes. Yeah, Dahil mga naman sure. natin sila. Alam naman, mas, sure. mas isabihin natin close notes, talagang mag-open notes sa mga yan. Okay, good luck on your quiz mga anak. Galing nga. See you again next week. Again, lahat po tayo ay hashtag matibay. matibay. Goodbye bye bye. guys.